Alright, what's going on guys? Luca here with another PvP build. I'm on my Stamden with a double sword and board PvP build. Back by the new one, turning tight. When you block, you gain flowing water for 10 seconds, causing your next bash attack to deal magic damage to up to 6 enemies in a 5 meters radius. And it applies major vulnerability, 10% more damage taken on the enemy. Front bar demolisher shield, it's a nice synergy with turning tide, which increases our bash attacks and deeds a small cone damage too. Then mala cut to empower both proxets with one trainee and magma incarnate as monster set. I'm on six heavy and one medium armor, one well fitted, three sturdy and 3 impen, full prismatic glyphs, full infuse on the jewelry with 1 stun cost reduction, 1 weapon damage and 1 increased bash attacks, weapons double sword and board like I said before, sharpened front bar, non back bar, double sturdy on shield and stamina drain poisons, skills as spammable use deep slash, as done reverberating bash, then Going Swarm for minor vulnerability and next to bleed damage dot. Sub training assault, race against time and snare removal. And Dawnback of Smiting. A back bar Pulse Armor for minor and major breach. Bull Nudge, Vigor, Ice Fortress and Living Trellis. It's definitely better now than Arctic Blast. And his defense ultimate Spare Wall. Race, I'm not, still, for extra resistance, max stamina, ulti region, and HP. Moonboost the warrior for extra weapon damage, lava food soup as buff food, 34 points in health and 30 in stamina. Potions, what else? The tricep potions. CPs, 3 damage CPs, biting our mastered arms and deadly aim, 1 defensive with ironclad, Red one celebrity, system by suffering, pains refuge and slippery, nothing has changed here. Let me show you a PvP combination with this build. To proc turning tide you need to block an attack on your back bar. Then you gain this juicy buff called flowing water for 10 seconds. Start with purse armor for major minor breach. Then sub apply minor vulnerability with going swarm. Into deep slash, into stun, into dawn breaker. Try to over smash in between to proc both proc sets and for extra damage. You can play around with your bash attacks, if you time it correctly with sub, you will gain a huge burst damage with those two proc sets. Now I will leave you with some gameplay footage, if you enjoy my content don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below, I would really appreciate guys. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video, ciao!
invincible. Thank <laughs> you.